guys and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I'm going to be talking about fitness. This video has been much requested over the last few weeks since I did my New Year's resolutions tag really, so probably about a month. Um, now, as you guys may know if you followed this channel for a while, I have done a couple of other fitness videos in the past which I will link in the info bar below. The last one I did I believe was back in the summertime kind of telling you what I was up to and things like that and then I did a fitness haul. I thought I would smush them all into one for this video and give you an update on what I've been doing to exercise. I am going to do a little haul of things that I've bought over the last month and what I've been liking to eat as part of my kind of healthy routine which I've actually been doing pretty well like as a bit of an introduction it has been going well um, I started off the month on a three times a week exercise regime I was doing a circuit training class on a Monday a Pilates class on a Wednesday and um, a session with a personal trainer on a Friday now circuits I really 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 like when I first started working out I didn't feel comfortable at all working out in front of other people. It's always been a bit of a hang up for me ever since I was fairly young. I hated sport at school. I didn't like working out in front of other people, things like that. So it's really kind of helped me um, get the confidence to do that. And having a personal trainer as well, and hi to my personal trainer, Ali, if you're watching this, um, she's really helped me kind of just be a bit more like chilled out about the whole thing and Pilates is good. I The thing is with Pilates, because it's not really cardio, like I try and fit another gym session into the week if I can um, and then I feel like it's a bit more kind of balanced. However, when the snow came, if you guys aren't in the UK, you may not know, we have been bombarded with masses of amounts of snow, well masses for us, massive for the rest of the world is kind of different, but um, there's been quite a lot of snow over the last few weeks which means it's not really worth driving a significant way to go to a class when I can go to the gym that's like two minutes away, so I have been going just to the gym with Mike, and I've really been enjoying that as well. The reason why I kind of stopped going to the gym on my own is just I got so bored. I just couldn't handle it, like I'm so bad on my own. As soon as I'm on my own I'm like I just feel lonely and bored and I just don't really like it. So when I go to the gym with Mike I've been kind of keeping a bit of a rotation as I'm kind of working out. I hate anything, like doing anything for over 10 minutes kills me, I get so bored I just can't do it. So when I go into the gym I tend to do 10 minutes running, 10 minutes rowing, 10 minutes on the cross trainer and then usually five or ten minutes running again at the end and then mix it up with some weights and sit-ups, crunches, that kind of stuff um, afterwards. So I am going to try and kind of up that to like 45 minutes of cardio instead of 35 to 40 um, over the next week but that's been going really well and I've really been enjoying it when Mike's been coming with me so I'm going to try and keep him motivated to do it as well. In terms of healthy eating that's also been going pretty well. Um, I have been tempted a few times and had like a little bit of ice cream here, a little bit of chocolate there, but I mean I'm not like going on a super strict diet or anything, I just want to kind of eat more healthily, so um, I ha it has been going pretty well. There are a couple of things that I've discovered that I love to eat. There are kind of healthier options than um, a lot of other things that you would normally eat. Um, these multi-seed bars called Nine Bars, these were introduced to me again by my personal trainer Ali. I love these, they are so good. I bought the flax ones because she gave me one after a workout once because I hadn't had any breakfast because I had a really early workout one morning, I think it was like 7.15 and I hadn't had time to eat anything and I didn't want to eat right before I went to the gym or whatever and she gave me one of these afterwards, oh my god, addicted instantly. The flax ones are so good. I also picked up the pumpkin ones but they're not quite as good. I like these ones because they have like a chocolate layer on the top which isn't actually chocolate, it's carob um, but it kind of tastes like chocolate, it gives you that kind of chocolatey fix. Um, I love these, they're really good. They actually taste really, really delicious. Instead of just being like cardboard, like a lot of kind of breakfast bars and stuff, they're actually like full of seeds and they're sweetened with honey. Really good. They are also free from gluten, dairy, lactose, wheat, egg, yeast, preservatives and artificial colours. So they're perfect if you have any allergies or if you're vegan, vegetarian, these are just great and they're really, really tasty as well. So you can pick those up. Um, I got mine in Waitrose, I don't know if you could probably buy them in Tesco's as well, um, and I would have thought like health shops like Holland and Barrett, but they're really good. And they're handmade in Wales apparently, so I love those. And then I've also been adding um, some of this to, if I ever make any kind of like smoothies or juices or things like that, I've been adding a little bit of baobab, 
like the weirdest name in the world. This is basically a new kind of superfood. I know there's so, always so much hype around superfoods, but this is kind of like the new acai berry or goji berry or whatever. Apparently it's got more antioxidants and all that stuff. It's meant to be really good for you anyway. And it does taste really good. It's a powder, it's like a white powder and it has a really distinct kind of um, sharp, like slightly sour and sweet at the same time taste. Some people don't like this. I gave some of this to my mum and she was like, oh, that's disgusting, but I really like it. Um, so yeah, I've been putting it in smoothies and stuff. You can add it to cereal, yogurt, smoothies, whatever you want to really. Um, it's quite good with yogurt as well. So I've been really liking that. And then another little kind of haul that I wanted to show you. I've been wanting to get one of these bottles for absolutely ages and I keep on forgetting about it. These are the Bobble um, water bottles. I kept the packaging so that I had all the information about it because obviously they're just like a clear bottle. But I don't drink bottled water really. I tend to buy like a pack every now and again so that I can get, I drink the water and then I just refill the bottle of water which apparently is meant to be bad for you because of the chemicals in plastic bottles that you buy water in aren't meant for kind of reusing. It's basically a water bottle with a filter in it. It's as simple as that. Clear water bottle, you put tap water in it, filters it as you drink it and it is free of BPA, which is the chemical that everyone worries about with plastic bottles. The filter is replaceable as well, so you can use the filter up to like 200 times. It looks cool, like I just think it's the coolest water bottle ever. And when I bought it, I was actually quite surprised because I just thought how flimsy the plastic was. It's like squidgeable and I was kind of surprised by that. But it's actually because you do need to kind of squeeze it when you drink it to get the water like through the filter. Anyway, I, I found this really good. I really like it. I like the way it looks. So it's £10, so it's not cheap. I mean, it's a water bottle at the end of the day, but it's definitely cheaper than buying bottled water. And I find if I have like a cute water bottle that I want to have in my handbag and take to the gym with me and stuff, I'm more likely to actually drink my water because I'm bad at drinking water. So I've been loving that. The other thing I wanted to do is a quick review of Primark's workout gear. I was really excited at the prospect of Primark bringing out workout gear because workout gear can be really expensive. But I tried on pretty much the whole collection of Primark workout stuff and this was the only thing I bought. I mean, it's not that it's bad quality, like this is actually really nice quality for £10, I think it's really good. The trousers, however, like the gym tights and stuff, they were just so see-through. Like I tried on both the long ones and the short ones and like you can see your underwear through them, you can see your bum through them, like as soon as you put them on and they like stretch out because they're tight so they're going to like stretch they were just see-through, so I wouldn't recommend those. But all in all, like, I was kind of disappointed with Primark's workout gear, it wasn't truly amazing, but I do like the jacket that I got. Um, I think I'll definitely use this a lot, but in terms of the tights, seriously, like, I wouldn't recommend them because the people behind you in the gym will be able to see your ass and that's never a good look. So yeah, that is an update of what I've been doing, how my fitness is going, and some healthy snacks for you all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any tips for me working out, if you have any way you think that I would like to shop for new workout gear or new snacks that you would recommend or new exercises that you would recommend, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already entered my giveaway on this channel for two designer wallets then make sure you do because they are amazing and you guys are amazing and I'll put the link to it after this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!